Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Illumination Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material events a patient grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 MW Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate endothelium, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital tests. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Welcome to test chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Once again, excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck.
As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in 3, 2, Safety is unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject Hong Kong here. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment, however, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck! Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Fantastic. 
You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Hello again. To reiterate uh, previous one, you must take momentum. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> 